let's draw the shear force diagram for this frame from the bending moment diagram. So what we'll do is take a free body of the columns and beam, effectively just cutting them just inside the joints. And therefore we expose a shear force on both sides of the column. And I'll remind you of the sign convention that we use for the column. And from the bending moment diagram, we have tension on the inside of the column, so that's where we draw the tail. And the bending moment in the column is equal to 2 kN meters near that joint. So if we take an equilibrium of moments on the top of the column, with anti-clockwise being positive, we have minus shear force 1 by the moment arm of 2 meters, plus 2 kN meters is equal to 0. And therefore V1 is 1 kN. And by horizontal equilibrium of forces, that's also equal to V2. So therefore the shear force diagram in this column is constant with a magnitude of 1 kN. Now in the other column we can do the same thing. So we have our shear force using the bottom sign convention and shear force 2 using the top sign convention. But here we have a zero bending moment diagram. So if we take moments about this point, then we're going to see that V1 is 0, and by horizontal equilibrium of forces, V2 is also 0. So therefore the shear force in this column is 0. Now on the beam, we have an external point load acting, and by cutting the beam just after the joint, we expose an internal shear force, and another one on the other side, where we cut it before the joint. And we can see we have a sagging moment in the beam. So we're going to have a bending moment of 2 kN meters. And on the other side, the bending moment is zero from the bending moment diagram. And now if we take an equilibrium of moments about point 0.2, with anti-clockwise being positive, we have minus shear force 1 by the moment arm, which is 3 meters, plus the 2 kN load by the moment arm of 2 meters, and then minus 2 kN meters, and that's all equal to 0. So that gives V1 is 0 0.7 kN. So here we draw the shear force diagram on top of the beam because the shear force is positive. And now we can follow the externally applied load. So what we get is minus 1.3 kN at the bottom. And that's our shear force diagram. Now alternatively you can take a vertical equilibrium of forces and you'll find that V2 is minus 1.3 kN. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.